All right, good morning everyone. It is your girl Shaniqua Inspires and I am on location here in Niagara Falls, Canada and Ontario, Canada. And I wanted to come and just give you some footage. Ooh, I don't know what that is. That's like a little, a little hut. I don't dare go in there, but it looks like a little, a little hut. I don't know what kind of animals or whatever live in that but cute cute just the same oh look at that sun look at that sky isn't that gorgeous but better yet look at the water let me get you over here so that you can see the water i told you your girl is on location rwanda watts out in this piece you guys now i might be dating myself again i don't even know if y'all know who that is but that it look google searcher <laughs> but check out this view i am at niagara falls i feel like i need to have a camera crew come on jesus do it for your girl get me a camera crew and let's get out here and let's record these beautiful sceneries look at that water now this is on i guess the start of the falls uh, so this is where the water is streaming from and as soon as i do the tours i'm gonna know what river and whatever i'm gonna know all the right terms but for now we gonna call it the start and as you saw on yesterday you saw the pit you saw the, 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 the nucleus come on somebody i gotta talk what i know um, we saw the nucleus we saw the heart of the niagara falls the horseshoe falls but this is into the start of it so you i am a walker and for some reason my heart is just saying you gotta walk check out this view does this not entice you to want to get up and walk? Oh, that's my pocketbook. That's why I need a camera crew. But look at this, all of this beautiful greenery, the beautiful blue sky. Again, this is Ontario, Canada, Niagara Falls. I just love the beautiful greenery. And this trail makes you want to be like uh, Dorothy. If it was yellow, we definitely would be like um, Dorothy following the yellow brick road. But I just enjoy walking along the water. Now at the nucleus or the heart of it, I could call it the heart of it, the heart of the Niagara Falls. That could be my new show, the heart of Niagara Falls. There are a lot of people, it is heavily populated. But, and if you look over here, most of what you need. So if you've ever desired to come to Niagara Falls, Basically, everything that you need is right here in the nucleus. So you have your eateries, you have the hotels, as you can see, there's loads of hotels. They span from uh, the Quality Inn. I don't know how much that would be, but it's the Quality Inn. And we're staying at the Hilton, but there's the Marriott, there's the Radisson, there's Embassy Suites, there's, what else did I see? The Sheridan, Sheridan is on the other end but right here in the center it's the marriott it's holiday Inn. there's a holiday inn marriott radisson there's two marriott's actually embassy suites hilton like i said the sheridan is a little bit on the outskirts of everything oh let's take a look at over this oh isn't this pretty look at that oh that reminds me oh look at this view I i've got to make certain when i'm heading back i get footage of this this reminds me of Italy now I've never been to Italy but that would definitely be a beautiful location for for me to go and do some footage right but it reminds me when you see the the pictures of the, the people with the boats and they're rowing you and it's so romantic that's what it reminds me of that's so super cute look at the greenery does this not scream out walk me and so there's a mist I'm getting it feels like raindrops but I know it's the water coming from falls so if you were ever think stay focused Shaniqua <laughs> if you were ever thinking about coming to Niagara Falls there are two sides there is the New York side and then there is the Canada side so one day me and my mom were just kind of and you know have these thoughts but you don't share them out with anyone you just have these thoughts so one day I don't know me and my mom is just talking I don't even know what we were talking about but we're talking and as we're sharing we're talking about how we both would love to visit Niagara Falls so I get it from my mama my mother was like well let's do it and I was like well my my situation is you know what I'm trying to make happen and she's like yeah let's do it 
So my mom was definitely on some, we say we wanna do something, let's do it. And I'm so grateful to my mom for putting that spirit in me that I am a get up and I am a doer. I am the queen of spontaneity. I will jump up, I will do something. I love trying new things. And I know that I got that from my mother. But we just decided to take a mother-daughter road trip. And it reminds me of the time we went to, I took my mom to, uh, or her birthday one year and I wouldn't let her pay for nothing. I was like, come on, ma, let's do it. It's your birthday, let's do it. So we did it up big girl style. We, we walked uh, the strip, we had us a good time. And so this trip, I guess my mom was like, look, you did it for me, I'ma do it for you. And so this trip, we're out here on a mother daughter trip and it's just beautiful. We both desired to see the same place and we did not know it. And life is not promised, there is no guarantee, we do not know our expiration. So why do we sit on those places that are in, in our hearts and in our minds to do? Why do we sit on that? The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. So, so why is it that God cannot make a way for you to come and to visit his glory, his beauty? This place is absolutely divine. And one of my favorite things is the water and mountains are my two favorite things. And I just love the scenery with the rocks and the waves and the falls the mist, like all of this is so gorgeous. And it belongs to my father. So if my father says that I could come and visit all of his houses and his land, then therefore what my problem is. So I'm so honored to be able to have the opportunity. But like I said, if there's ever a place that you desire to go, put the plan in motion. And in fact, don't even think about it because once you start thinking about it, you're gonna overthink it. And overthinking is gonna say you're not gonna come. Overthinking is gonna have you worried about money. Overthinking is gonna have you worried about where you're gonna stay. You don't have to stay any place grand. Now we chose the Hilton because Hilton is, is, I used to be a Marriott girl, but Hilton has been kind of from the Marriott. Marriott better try its best to win me back. I don't know what they are gonna have to offer me, but they might wanna start hollering at your girl, might whistle, do some cat calls to try to get me to come back to them. But honestly, it doesn't matter where you stay because once you leave out of your hotel, you walk like everybody else walks and you get to the, so this, like I said, is the start of it. Um, but the heart of it, there's a lot of people at the heart of it. But everything that you need, every kind of um, sightseeing is right here where you would, would, right? So you don't even have to go far. And so I'm out here now kind of test run before my mom comes out here. She's back at the hotel. She was asleep while I was walking out. But... Um, I would just see, I wanted to look at, I wanted to scope out the land. And plus I'm a walker and I wanted to make certain that I, cause I'm aiming for 15K steps, you guys. Okay, uh, doing the 10 step aim, now I'm aiming for 15 because I feel good. My body is, is primed and it's, oh, and I'm at the Caribbean, come on somebody. Uh, my body is just, I'm more seasoned now, and so I crave the walking. So I'm out here literally just walking, because not only do I want to get my steps, the scenery is so inviting, but it doesn't matter where you stay, just get to the heart of it, right? It's the heart of the matter. If you come because this is something that you desire to do, there are options for you. Right, that meets every budget. Like I said, there's a quality inn and the quality inn has a outdoor pool, but it's enclosed. And we walked past there last night and there was two people chilling. Like they were in their own little zone. Um, they were only two in the, the pool, inside pool. And it was beautiful. Um, the Holiday Inn is there. There's a restaurant attached to the Holiday Inn. We are probably gonna leave the Hilton and go to the Holiday Inn to eat at the restaurant right there. Because you know, $25 for, for two eggs at the Hilton compared to $14 at <laughs> the Holiday Inn's restaurant. I mean, it's rainer. But there are plenty of restaurants out here. We went to Margaritaville last night. Um, we, there's, 
if you like that that's not my cup of tea but there's an applebee there's a tgi fridays um so they're popular restaurants there's a pizza like a wood oven um pizza out here so there are different places where you can eat there's a subways come on eat fresh you don't even have to spend uh, a whole lot of money and sometimes subways have those deals where you can get like two for the price of one baby eat a tuna sandwich eat a bologna sandwich if you need to it is about establishing your heart's desires but most of the time when we think about the things that we desire to do in life we always start thinking about the money and I wish to God that money was not an issue for us I wish that we would tap in to the abundance to the overflow that Jesus Christ has promised us oh boy died he, he sacrificed his life for us to be able to to this. But for some reason, we still are, are beneath our means. We haven't pushed the envelope. We haven't uh, pressed forward. We're still living in mediocrity. And I'm not yelling at you. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to myself because that's who I see here. I have allowed everything else to come become a priority other than my eyes being able to bask in what my father has said is mine so i'm just out here checking out my birthright you know what i'm saying i just i wanted to get a different view so i'm on the canadian side of my birthright and i just want you to see i want to take you all with me so that you get to see our inheritance that you get to see that the earth is the lord and the fullness thereof Look at that beautiful, don't look at me, look at that beautiful scenery back there. That is what our father made. And so we need to stop playing small. We need to stop allowing money to dictate everything. Let me tell you, money is there. You have the money, but you're not exercising the power of choice in the right way. You're putting priorities, and I know you're like, well, Shaniqua, um, rent is a priority. Mortgage is a priority. I get it. I got some of that too. But look at this. Basking in what my daddy makes is a priority. Being able to see. There are some kids. I grew up with some kids who never made it out of New York City. So when we used to go on class trips, those class trips meant everything to them. Because otherwise they would not see anything. So they love going to the Bronx Zoo and the Central Park and um, to trips like that because if it were not for those school trips. So you all need to support your local schools that because they, they slow down with doing the trips, but they need to rev it up because sometimes that's the only thing some kids will ever see. But thanks be unto God that my mother and my father made a way because my heavenly father started it. And so my earthly parents made a way for me and my brother to be able to see the land. So again, I got to give credit and homage to my mother for that because my mother put that, that thirst. She would take us on cruises. We would go to North Carolina. We would go to Virginia Beach. We did, we did things. As I remember when we went to Disney World, I was young. I don't remember how old I was, but I realized that I was very young. But what I do recall from that moment was how my mother saved. So I remember how we lived good, how we, we did all of the things. We went to all of the parks. We had a good time. And maybe we didn't even go to all of the parks. Right? As a kid, I didn't know all of the different parks. So what did it even mean? All I knew, I was in Disney and that was enough. So even if we just went to you know, the, the front door and some of the things, we didn't have to do like how we treat our kids now, how we have to have the breakfast with the characters. We didn't do all of that back in the days. So in a kid's mind, it's just about being in the environment. It doesn't matter the logistics behind it, but as adults, we get so caught up in the logistical matters of it that we we shortchange ourselves and then start to put ourselves in these box and now we don't wanna go because we can't get out and do everything that everybody else is doing. But sometimes just being in the room. So like I said, even if we had decided to stay at the, the quality inn, you would see all of this, even if you didn't put a big price tag on where you stayed. If you didn't put a big emphasis on where you laid your head, it's like when you go on a cruise, what does it matter if you at the bottom? You ain't even gonna be in that room but to sleep anyhow, so what does it matter? So I say all of that to tell you is that don't allow these excuses 
to stop you from getting to see your inheritance. And I understand life lives, I understand things, things happen. But sometimes you gotta make this a priority. You got them. It's like when you see on a bug flying around. It's like you see on TV and um, a family member passes away. It's this this creepy old man in a limousine and wearing a suit and tie, and he hands you this envelope and says, um, "There's a will reading. You got to go to such and such location to listen to the to the uh, reading of this will." You don't even know this this family member that passed, but somehow your name and, and information was on the list, and you got to go and hear about this will and while you're sitting in uh, this room and you're hearing what's left to you it's now you see all the lifetime all the lifetime like this you now have the duty to go see about your inheritance you didn't even know uh, Aunt Dorothy that passed away you don't even know if that was your mama's side or your daddy's side but they left this to you and now you got to go see about your inheritance so you're going to pack up, you're going to go and you're going to travel to the distant land. You might find love, right? Because if you let them Lifetime movies tell it, you might find love. But guess what? You would go and see about your inheritance. So I say to you all, make certain that you go and you see about your inheritance. This is all of our inheritance. Bye. This is all our inheritance. So it's a duty. And just one of these days, you do need to pull it to the front of your to-do list. That wherever it is that you desire to go, whatever it is that you had as a twinkle in your, in your eye and in your brain that you wanna see, I encourage you to go and to see it. Put it to the priority list because you don't wanna be like some of those little kids that I grew up with who they never got to see outside of New York City. You've got breath in your body, you've got mobility in your limbs, and check out what my shirt, my shirt says. You are such a time as this. So it's time for you to place your eyes on your inheritance. And it just might make you a more, how can I say, a, a well-rounded individual. Because now you don't feel like you're lacking. One of the things that I used to hate about being in the workforce is that you felt like it didn't allow you time to do anything. You got the money, but you don't have the time. You just need to learn how to flip the priority and make the time while you got the money. Or make the time while you have good health, while you've got mobility in your body, while your heart's still beating. Make time while you are here. Because you know what, when you're laying on your deathbed, you can't say, uh, cause they don't, I don't know if they do that, make a wish for adults. But I dare you to make a wish for yourself now. Maybe it's Niagara Falls, cause baby, let me tell you, this is a scene right here. This is a scene and the weather here is beautiful today. I always thought Canada as cold, but it is beautiful out here. Look at this. I feel like I'm in Ireland. I, I don't know. It, it's just, it's just giving. And well, all greenery, the blue, it's just giving. But I'm loving it. I probably need to take off my shoes. I might do that too. I might take off my shoes and do a little grounding while I'm here. Let me reset my nervous system since I'm here, right? Since I'm here. But I just wanted to record this a bit to, to encourage you. Wherever it is that your heart desires to go, do it. Please do it, get your passport, live, go see about your inheritance. Because you know what? All the rest of God's children is out here. And if I go back into the heart, you are gonna see all his other children out here. But I encourage you all to go wherever it is. Africa, Africa is beautiful. I wanna go back, Lord knows I wanna go back. Canada is nice. I, I'm, I'm getting good vibes from Canada. Let me just tell y'all, I'm getting good vibes from Canada. I need to go around and see some more places and see where else I'm gonna get a good vibe and take you along with me so that you can be encouraged to take a leap of faith and go see about your inheritance. Be blessed. Hi everyone, Dr. Shaniqua Johnson here, AKA Shaniqua Inspires. I warmly extend an invitation to each of you to explore my website, ShaniquaInspires.com. 
Here, you can discover a wealth of inspiration through my books, or whether you're seeking to unlock your peak potential with my personalized accountability coaching, or searching for an inspirational speaker for your next event. I'm here to assist you. Let's connect and discuss how we can work together to achieve your goals. Goodbye for now.